Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Okay, I am so excited about this video. Um, I was tagged to do this video by Roya Felder on, um, here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Roya, for tagging me to do this video. I am very excited. Um, this video is about if I were starting my bag collection over the five bags that I would um, repurchase or start with. And this was a difficult video for me, not because I have a lot of bags, because I don't at all. I probably have 10 or something like that or so bags, but I am very intentional about my bags and I really try to choose bags that are gonna be functional and that I'm going to utilize a lot. So it was difficult in that respect. Um, also, I am a Louis Vuitton lover. That is my favorite house. Um, it's Louis Vuitton, so most of the bags are from there. As I was going through picking out the bags for this collection, I was like, oh my goodness, is there gonna be one <laughs> that's not Louis Vuitton? I mean, I love what I love, and so it is what it is. So most of these bags are Louis Vuitton, and as you'll see, most of them are a particular style of bag for me that I use for different purposes. So we got to go ahead and get started. It was a kind of a tie a little bit between my, um, the choice for my number one bag. But um, when I looked at all of the different factors that I'll tell you about, this one certainly won out for me uh, as my favorite number one bag. And it is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. This bag is the first second Louis Vuitton bag that um, I I own. This was gifted to me and the story behind this, this was gifted to me by my love, um, Troy. And a story behind it, this is not the original bag. So I got the original bag, I don't know, several years ago. And I used it all the time. I mean, it's my absolute favorite bag. And I noticed one day that it started to get a little rip right in the middle of the bag. And I was looking, at first I thought it was a mark or something, but it was a little rip. And so ultimately I took it back to Louis Vuitton. They gave me a difficult time initially um, saying that it had to do with the way I was storing it and I wasn't storing it in the right temperature and all of this. And I was devastated because when you invest in luxury bags, I expect them to last a lifetime. And so long story short, Troy went back in um, to speak to them and whatever, and they ended up replacing the bag with this one. Now, I my preference was that the original one somehow could be fixed because it was very sentimental to me, but it couldn't. So they ended up replacing the bag. And so I have this one and I have grown to love it as well. It is just so spacious. I um, am not using it right now. So I don't know what I have in here. I just have it stuffed with some, some items in here, some bags or something I have <laughs> rolled in here, some socks. Just I just try to keep it stuffed, usually with um, some sort of cloth bags. So I even use like grocery bags, I keep it stuffed. And I have a little base shaper in the bottom. It's just a clear take it out, base shaper that I got from Amazon. It's kind of dirty, but this is the base shaper. And I use that when I'm storing the bag and sometimes when I'm carrying it. I love this bag because of the slouch of the bag. This, this is what appeals to me. The unstructured nature of this bag is what I love. You know, I carry it like this, and this is the uh, the um, speedy bag without the bandolier. When I wanted this bag, I was very specific. I did not want a bandolier. This bag is massive, so I was not gonna be carrying it on my shoulders or anything like that. I wanted to be able to carry it just like this. And so that's how I carry it. Um, you know, it has a pocket here in the middle. I'm not, not going to go and do a whole review, but this is definitely my favorite bag. I don't wear it as much because of the vachetta on the handles. It's very light and I'm just very careful. Even when I am wearing it, I'm careful not to have oils and stuff on my hands. It, you know, it is a delicate bag and I live in Florida and it rains 
a lot like it could be sunny just like it is now and then while it's sunny it will start pouring rain and so and if you get um marks on the vachetta they don't come out so i don't mind I, I mean i don't baby it to the extent that i don't use it at all i mean i like and, and my other bag had a nice patina to it and i do like that and this will get that as well but this is my favorite bag the Speedy 35 um, is my number one bag that I would repurchase if I had to start all over again. This would be the first one that I would purchase. All right, and in the number two slot is a bag that, this was the first Louis Vuitton bag that I purchased for myself, okay? Um, I wanted to purchase it for myself it's just a bag that I had researched and I had studied and I looked on YouTube and I was going, you know, back and forth about the bag. And when I knew I wanted it, I just obsessed over it until I could get it myself. And like I said, it was the first purchase that I made um, of a Louis Vuitton bag. And it was the best purchase that I could have made. I love this bag. Like I said, it was a toss up between those two. That one won out because it was my first one and because Troy bought it for me. But this was a close second because I bought it for myself and I absolutely love it. And that is the Louis Vuitton Never Full in the GM size. Again, a massive bag. I like to carry big bags. And this one gives exactly what it's supposed to give. Uh, I use this bag mainly for travel. Right, so most of the times that I travel, I have this bag. But lately, I have started to utilize it more for like everyday use, because I'm thinking it's a beautiful bag. Why am I only using it for travel? I love totes and big bags anyway. And so what I did was I bought an organizer for this bag, and I've used it recently. I'm not gonna take it out, but I bought an organizer for this bag. And it helped me to be able to organize things better so that I can use on a daily basis. And so I recently took this bag to work and it was, it was wonderful. I got the organizer from Amazon and I'll link it. But yeah, I can just put so much in this bag. Um, you know, it, it can get heavy. I would say it can get heavy. But most of the time when I use this bag, I'm not like at the mall shopping. I'm not like walking around a lot. It's a tote that I take from place to place. Everything that I could potentially think of, I can put in here. And this bag is just, you know, when I walk into work with this, this is a boss bag. It, it is. It is definitely a stutter, definitely a flex and a lot of attention with this bag. But I just love it, and um, I can't say enough about it. So I'm, I am using it more. These sides do come in. I, I literally have never done this. I don't. I've never worn it. I don't even know how to really do it. Um, um, well, you could tuck the sides in like that, and it kind of totally changes the um, shape of the bag. And um, a lot of people use it like that because it's almost like you get two bags in one. But I have literally never, I've never used it like this. But just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you. You can put it in like that. But I, I would highly recommend if you are contemplating a first bag, the Speedy or the Neverfull would be great options. They're just so functional. They're so classic. And I love a classic bag. I am not into trendy things um, at all. One of my bags on that I'm gonna show might be considered a little trendy, I don't know. But it's a classic bag, never goes old. Um, this has held its, its shape um, and the quality of it has been wonderful. And so this is my number two bag that I will purchase again and again and again. Okay, and for my third bag, I'm gonna cheat just a little bit. Sorry, I, it, I, couldn't, I couldn't help it because it's so hard to differentiate between these two bags. They are very similar, but they're but they are different. But I use them interchangeably for the same purpose. So I can't decide between the two of them. One of them I've had longer, and one of them is um, one of my newest bags. But I couldn't decide, and they are the same style. So I'm just gonna sneak it in here, right? <laughs> and that is my World Tour. 
Speedy from Louis Vuitton with my initials there. It is the black, uh, it has the um, black, um, I don't know, material with it. So it's mono and mono, the classic monogram is my favorite print um, at Louis Vuitton. And then the, the monogram with the black is my second favorite print. And so this is from the World Tour line. And when I saw this, it was one of those impulse purchases. I saw it and within minutes after I saw it, I purchased it. First of all, the Speedy is my favorite style of handbag. And then when I saw that I was able to get this and personalize it, so I have my initials there and it's green lettering with white, with a shadow and white. I am a Michigan State Spartan, Spartan go green. So being able to personalize that really sold me and I just love the color. This bag is stunning. And I don't see a lot of people with this bag. Because it is from the World Tour line, you have to special order it. You can't go in the store and buy it. And I don't know if a lot of people know about this combination. I always get asked about this bag. I also have a base shaper in here just to um, you know, kind of keep the shape of the bottom. Otherwise, I love it. Um, the have how it just you know, it's slouchy like that. I also replaced, this is not the strap that came with it. It came with a, a black strap. I got this Louis Vuitton adjustable strap um, probably a year or so ago because I knew it would just go perfectly with this. It can really go with any of my bags, but this just real, this strap just really stepped this bag up even more. Guys, this is gorgeous. And then it has the red interior which I love and I can't say enough, enough about it. It's all weather. I can take it in the rain, snow, it doesn't matter. There's nothing going to happen to this bag, which is why this is my most used bag um, of all of my bags. It has been, and I say that because it has been until now. The next bag I'm gonna show you is quickly becoming my most used bag. It is the Speedy 25 in the Damier Avene. <sighs> I love this bag. <laughs> As a matter of fact, before I got the World Tour um, Speedy 30, this was the bag that I was looking to get. This was the one that I wanted to get. Um, I just had not pulled the trigger yet. Um, I wanted to get it pre-loved. Um, and you know, I just, I, I knew that I wanted it, but I wasn't like in a hurry to get it. But this was going to be the next bag that I purchased. And then I was on the Louis Vuitton website one day and I saw that and I pulled the trigger. So when I pulled the trigger on that, and I think it was maybe what, two years ago, then I said, I'm good. I, I don't need to have this one because I got that and it's functional for all the same reasons this is. But it just continued to grow on me. I, when I would see it everywhere, it was just so stunning. I, I didn't have a bag in a Damier, Damier um, a bean print. And I, I was curious about the print. Um, so I wanted to own something in that print. And so I had the opportunity to purchase this bag. I got it from Dallas Designer Handbags. The three that I just showed you, they all come from Louis Vuitton, but this one was, I got it pre-loved from Dallas Designer Handbags, and it was absolutely perfect. I have some receipts and stuff in there now, but you see it has that um, red interior. The handles are perfect. It's so lightweight. It's so easy. It goes with everything. I mean, it's, I don't, for whatever reason, I find it easier to just grab for this than even the World Tour Speedy. And this is smaller, which like I said, I am a big bag girl. So I'm, a, I'm amazed at how much, how frequently I use this, but it's really light. This one is a little bit heavier. This one is light and it's functional and it's roomy. I think the other day I was carrying it and I had my Truce 18 in, it, in here and a few things and it, it was a little, start to get a little bit cumbersome because the opening is not very wide. It's wide enough, but when I start getting larger um, toiletry pouches in there, it does get a little tight. It does have the bandolier. This is the original strap. I love wearing it either on my shoulder, I wear it on my shoulder, or I can wear it crossbody. You know, if I want to wear it that way, I can wear it that way as well. 
functional, versatile. If you're I'm interested in luxury and you want to make a first purchase, this would be a great bag to start with. It's functional. It will can do everything you want it to do. I love it. Can't say enough about it. This is a great bag. Like I said, I know I sound like a broken record. I am a tote bag girl, um, and I will always be, I will always prefer totes and larger bags, and I have several totes. This was a little bit difficult because I have several totes that I love, the Reeve Gauche St. Laurent tote, the Chloe Woody tote, several of them that I love. The Never Full GM is considered a tote. Um, but when I had to uh, think about the one that I would purchase over again if I was starting my collection, it would have to be the Chanel Duville um, tote. This bag is so special to me. I, I use it more in the summer than I do in other times of the year, but I love this bag. It also comes with a pouch that I keep in here. I have an organizer in here now, so you can kind of see what's in there now. But this bag is so special to me. It's the first and the only Chanel bag that I own. and. I, I surprised a couple years ago. I surprised my girls um, and my mom with a trip to New York City at Christmas time, and it was um, right before things shut down again for that kind of second round of COVID. But we had such a great time, and I bought this bag at Saks Fifth Avenue in New York City. But when I saw this bag, I had to get it, and they ended up shipping the bag to me from New York City um, to me here in Florida. They shipped the bag to me. And I absolutely love this bag. I love the color of this bag. It kind of goes with anything that I'm wearing. It's very versatile. It's huge. Um, I have the organizer in there right now. Um, but when I don't, when I don't have the organizer in there, or if I do, I can fit so much in this bag, which is a great thing, but can sometimes not be a great thing because of all the bags, this is definitely the heaviest one. Um, so I, you know, just keep that in mind. I'm used to heavy bags cause I like totes and stuff. So it doesn't bother me, but it definitely can have some weight to it. But I love the handles right here so I can wear it, you know, like this. And I particularly love these handles and I love the, the silver. Um, most of the Louis Vuitton bags have, um, have gold hardware, which is fine for me. That's not my preference. You can see all I wear is silver and white gold jewelry. My necklaces, all my bracelets, everything is silver and white gold. My earrings, everything. So I particularly love the silver on this because it complements all of my jewelry that I wear. And most of the bags, their hardware is in gold. So I love this bag for that reason. Um, and it's just, it's elevated, right? It's classic, it's elevated, it's Chanel. Um, I just really appreciate having this bag in my collection. Like I said, it is my only Chanel bag. I love it. I would repurchase it again. Um, I'm so glad to own this. And so this would be uh, the fourth bag uh, in, in my collection that I would repurchase over and over again. Okay guys, and the final bag that I would repurchase over and over again if I started my collection would be none other than the Louis Vuitton bum bag. Guys, I just love this bag. I am so grateful that I own this bag um, because it's not available anymore. You can get it on the pre-loved market. They do have that high rise bum bag and it's cute, but I, I my preference is definitely this one. And interestingly enough, when this bag was at the height of its popularity, I saw it, I was looking at it, but I wasn't sure that I wanted it. I thought it was an interesting bag. I just really, I don't know, I just didn't think maybe it was my style or aesthetic. And actually, I um, Troy surprised me with this bag. I don't know for what occasion it was. He said that he had gone into the store in his essay suggested that I might like this bag. This essay knew it was popular at the time, knew everybody wanted it. It was the only one they had in the store. So Troy took his word for it and he gave me this bag and I saw it and I was like, wow. I was like, oh my God, I've been seeing that bag everywhere. How did you pick that one out? And he told me the story uh, about the essay. And I am so grateful that he listened and that I have this bag. This bag is so functional. It is so sporty. I am um, an athlete. I was a track athlete in college. I'm a track and field coach right now. This is the ultimate sporty bag. 
um, when I wear it. Um, and I wear, I do wear it kind of, you know, across my body, you know, like this. And I did another video. I do wear it, you know, like this. This is the way I wear it. Mm -hmm. You can see it. Yeah. I wear it like that. But I can get, it's massive. I can get everything in here. And, and, and remember, guys, I carry totes. So a lot of the things that I carry in my totes, I can carry right in here. Um, it lays flat against me just like that. Look at that, look at that. Stunning. I mean, it is definitely, a, definitely a flex factor, which I love the flex. I am all about the flex. I, I'm not about quiet luxury. I want my luxury screaming. Uh, and so this definitely has that flex factor. It has, you know, this part has a nice patina, starting to get a nice patina on it. It is just held up so well. I, um, I if I had this about three or four years and it really still looks brand new. It has a, a really big pocket on the back. Back here has a big pocket. I can put my phone in here or whatever I want to put in there. Um, it's just a coveted piece of my collection. So I'm glad, I hope I won't have to start my collection over because I can't imagine how much I would have to pay to get this bag today. Uh, I'm so glad um, that I, I own this bag and I would want to have it over and over again if I had to start my collection over. All right, guys, so those are my top five bags that I would repurchase if I were starting my collection over again. Thank you so much, Roya, for tagging me in this video. It was so much fun. Um, I do have a couple of bags on my wish list that I hope to get before the end of the year that might change, um, you know, some of my thoughts around the bags that I would repurchase. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to um, get those bags and if and when I do, I'll certainly share those with all of you. But thank you so much for tuning in. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Please follow me over at on Instagram at I am Lawanda Bird. And until the next time, see you later. Bye.